Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. What's happening? This your boy, I 55 Shine, and you tuned in with Say That TV. You heard me? Three weeks into his federal trial in Chicago, single R. Kelly spoke up for the first time to tell the judge he would not be testifying in his own defense. Kelly, 55, is on trial on a 13 count indictment, including child pornography and obstruction of justice charges. His former business manager, Darrell McDavid, and former assistant, Milton June Brown, are being tried alongside him. Accused of scheming with R. Kelly to buy back incriminating sex tapes to help cover up his sex crime and rig his 2008 child pornography trial in Cook County, at which R. Kelly was acquitted. Kelly also did not testify at his federal trial last year in New York when he was convicted of racketeering and sex trafficking charges and later sentenced to 30 years in prison. He also did not take the stand at his 2008 child pornography trial in Chicago when he was acquitted of all charges. Brown will also not take the stand at their federal trial in Chicago, although Mick David has chosen to testify in his own defense. Kelly's defense team called their first five witnesses on Thursday after the judge rejected their motion for acquittal. Such motions are routinely filed in criminal trials and are rarely granted. As they started presenting their case, the defense team tried to poke holes in some of the stories brought by R. Kelly accusers earlier in this trial. First on the stand was Christopher Wilson, a former Chicago police detective and family friend of McDavid's, who testified that McDavid told him R. Kelly was being blackmailed. Wilson said he traveled to Kansas City with a private investigator to meet with the alleged blackmailer. He said he did not witness anything illegal, and as a cop, he would have been required to report it. Up next was Mary Green, who planned a 1999 expo at McCormick Place. That's where one of R. Kelly's accusers said she met the R&B singer. That accuser testifying under the false identity Tracy has testified that she was only 16 when they met and soon began having sex, accusing the singer of sexually abusing her dozens of times. But Green testified under oath that she was never made aware of R. Kelly's attendance at the expo where Tracy claimed she met him and she would have been aware of the R&B star of that magnitude. Green testified that he appeared at the expo in the year of 2000 when Tracy would have been 17. The witness who spent the longest amount of time on the stand was audio engineer Tom Arnold who worked for R. Kelly for about eight years starting in 2003 and before that worked at Chicago Track Studios while Kelly was recording music there. Arnold said it was very normal for him to cash checks at the bank and hand the large amounts of cash for Kelly. He said the largest sum was approximately $125,000 in cash. He also testified he drove people for Kelly and it was common knowledge drivers were not supposed to talk to Kelly's female guests. Ronald Winters took the stand after Arnold. He worked as a personal assistant to R. Kelly's criminal defense attorney in his Cook County case in the 2000s. Winters said he viewed multiple VHS tapes of Kelly having sex with different women, but Winters said none of them appeared to be underage. Winters thought one of the tapes showed R. Kelly his then wife, not an underage girl, as prosecutors have argued. Jurors were excused until Tuesday at 10 a.m. The judge said they expect to finish the case next week without fail. After the jury was excused for the day on Thursday, the judge, prosecutors, and defense attorneys worked on finalizing jury instructions. Kelly's attorney said the single was not feeling good, so he would not be participating in the process.